Hey, my super beautiful, lovely souls. It's Lizzie the Lightworker here. Welcome to my channel, guys. So today I'm bringing you a reading. We're gonna do a divine female Libra and a divine male Virgo. Now, guys, I just wanna say right off the bat, these are more or less titled this way so I can keep track of all the requests I get and all the combinations of astrology signs with Twin Flame Union. So if this happens to resonate in reverse or you feel like I'm reading for the Divine Masculine and you feel more like you're the Divine Feminine or vice versa, it's however it resonates to you, okay? That's how it's meant to be received. But I just wanted to get that out there. Also, guys, I want to tell you that I have a Twin Flame Separation Support Group on Facebook. I have started that. It's, you know, a place to sort of go and connect with others and talk about your experiences um, in, in separation. So if you might want to check that out. And also, I will leave information for my private readings, which a lot of you are requesting um, for not so much for private, but you want your requests done. Um, and I'm getting to those as quickly as possible, I promise, guys. Um, but, you know, if you book, you, you guaranteed a time slot. So, something to think about. Anyway, without further ado, Libra, divine female. Virgo, divine male. Okay, so our divine female Libra, I feel, is extremely tormented by this separation okay and i'm saying separation guys because 90 percent of my readings are separation based now because that's what you guys you know are, are experiencing or asking for so it, it could also resonate if you're not in separation but i'm feeling like this is in separation and this is someone who's very tormented okay i feel like she fought very very hard to keep the attention of her divine male I feel like now in separation she is very regretful I feel like she, I don't know for sure if she walked away or he turned his back on her we're gonna find that out we'll pull more cards but I'm feeling like she might be feeling like she made a mistake here something is haunting her at nighttime I feel like she's up at night like literally like pacing the floors or can't sleep or you know driving herself crazy and sort of all the doubts and all the fears hit her at that time i also feel like you know she may have seen a little bit of a dark night of the soul here okay where you know you're just out of touch with your twin and you start going through this very depressive phase but also it's an awakening process so i feel like that might be happening as well i also feel like I don't know if he owes her an apology or she feels like she owes him one, but I feel like a sense of apology or something like that may be coming, okay? I do suspect right off the bat there may be some communication coming, but I also feel like she's balled up lots and lots to say, and I do feel like there's almost like a retreat aspect here. Like she retreated from this. Um, you know, I feel like she didn't feel like maybe it was worth the fight or it was too difficult for her to continue. Either way, the energy here for her is very, very distraught, very, very depressed, very, very uh, anxious, um, needing clarity, needing clarifications. Um, she's sort of seeing only the worst parts of things. She's not really looking towards the better parts of things. Um, she feels abandoned. She feels almost like she's drowning in her own misery and sorrows and sadness. And it's so, so sad that our divine female is feeling this way. Yeah, it's just, I feel like, I feel like there is a way back though, okay? It's not hopeless. To me, this is like that hopeless feeling, but it's not hopeless. Like if you really look in detail in this situation and you pick it apart and you come to realize that it's not really that hopeless. All right, so with our Virgo, I feel like this guy, our divine male, okay? Like I said, it could read in reverse. It could resonate in reverse. Our divine male is more so... A traditional person okay he is traditional in all ways I feel like maybe religiously I feel like commitment wise I feel like you know he's like the type of person that wants to be committed and fall in love and plan things and uh, do things sort of like almost on schedule like in a relationship so it might make the relationship feel a bit dry because he's so routine oriented I feel like you know traditionally he wants a woman that he's going to fall in love with and marry okay and be the mother of his children um I feel like that's what 
that's what he it, it sort of like defines him okay he's not any other way when it comes to love and relationships okay so that could have been a little bit i don't know boring for divine libra uh divine female libra that could be a little bit of it but to me i'm feeling like that's him he's structured routine oriented tradition oriented he wants that traditional i feel like he offered this to her i don't know if she was ready for it i don't know if she turned her back on it I don't know if maybe, you know, she was dealing with her own things or battling her own demons or her own issues in life at the time. Um, and maybe she was battling depression. I just feel like he's the one that approached her. He's the one that offered to her, okay? I also feel like it was, a, there was a sexual energy here, like a very intense um, draw of magnetism type of a sexual energy here, okay? Um, I don't know if he tried to do that too quickly for her or um you know there was something with that that you know maybe he wanted to be more physical and she wasn't quite ready for that um i don't i'm not sure but with the traditional part of it i'm not 100 percent on that but i'm feeling like there could have been a little bit of that okay because to me i don't know if he wanted children or he wanted to get her pregnant there's like this sense of that here okay um but either way he is thinking about her and he sees her at least when they were together or the view that he has on her, the take that he has on her, he sees her as this warm, loving, motherly figure type energy. And he sees like her creative flow and her creative juices. And he sees her as an abundant, beautiful, empathetic woman. And this is like his type. Okay. He is very attracted to that stable, secure motherly type energy he's very very attracted to that okay the only other way i can see this splitting up is is i don't know if he had a relationship with another woman and there's sort of like a separate life here aside from his twin and maybe he had a woman and that was the mother of his children i'm just throwing it out there okay guys it could resonate either way like i said whatever resonates keep whatever it doesn't toss but I feel like that could be a little bit of it too or another side of it for someone else okay so believe me the messages will reach who they need to reach guys so yeah let's get some more cards and see all in all this felt like a lot of work this feels like a lot of work here okay and I feel like it was a lot of work if they were previously together and it's a lot of work and now in separation i feel like there's a sense of wanting to give up and i feel like that may be coming from our divine female side she may have this energy where she feels like she wants to get up give up it's like a big struggle for her okay i also feel like something like led them both to this position of almost it being like just too much for both of them it's like it, you were led to this position it was almost like a test uh, of strength okay to see if you can make it past some of these issues and if they didn't that's fine and it goes into separation that's also fine because it's giving you a chance and an opportunity to try to figure out what you need to complete in your own lives before you can come back and be together okay so there might be elements of things in their personal lives aside from each other outside of their uh, relationship together that were very difficult that caused them grief and exertion and, and time and energy and no help from anywhere or anyone else. That could be part of it too. And if that was going on in either of their personal lives, that would definitely put a strain and a damper on um, Twin Flame Union. And I'm getting a feeling that someone was almost like inexperienced or new at this love type thing, okay? I feel like this is like someone who needed experience needing experience needing to learn about relationships and different types of relationships and different types of commitment i feel like this is our divine male okay i feel like he was maybe not even looking for this when he fell into her lap i feel like he sort of stumbled upon her it wasn't like I don't feel like it felt like it was like a, a chance meeting. I feel like it was definitely like he was definitely going to cross her path. Okay. And that does, yes, happen because we sort of plan this before we incarnate back to meet each other. So I feel like he chose to sort of be this innocent type energy where, um, you know, he almost felt like, it almost felt like he's like floating above the clouds, kind of like, you know, carefree, hapless, like kind of person that just stumbled upon her, her energy. 
and he was drawn to her okay um nothing is coincidence so if you guys are thinking any of this was any of it was coincidence or any of it was like chant no i feel like nothing here was coincidence but i also feel like they will get a chance for a new beginning i do get a sense of that there is some baggage to be dropped there is some exploring to do some adventuring sort of to do some experiences sort of to be had sort of a little bit of a single life type feeling i'm getting here that needs to be had only to learn about relationships and people and to have experiences okay i also feel like that when they did meet and they tried to make this work there was an immaturity here okay um like an immaturity of both energies i'm feeling like not so much for more divine male because he has a stronger structured energy i feel like it could be a little bit of our divine females energy where she might feel like she needed to play the field a little bit more um but nothing is malicious okay this is all pure of heart it's all pure yeah, I feel like this could be more our divine female. So painting a little bit of a picture here. I feel like she may have not been ready for commitment. She also may have been seeing someone else and, and confused about how to break that or how to um, balance that out or how to weigh out her feelings, okay? I do feel like all in all, this does have to do with partnership, but not being able to be level with your 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 twin okay there was not a levelness if that makes any sense i'm trying to make the best sense of this for you guys it was not level okay it, every time it rose up something else fell down um i also feel like it was just not the time timing was very much off here okay guys if that resonates great if not don't worry about it i feel like timing was off i also feel like there was other outside influences definitely outside influences like deterring somebody or changing somebody's mind or being indecisive or not knowing what to do i feel like that's our libra's energy okay i feel like she was just very indecisive not understanding this not knowing what to do um feeling a pull on other parts of her life or trying to decide between two different lovers i'm getting a sense of that i also feel like things are never really stable for her a lot is up and down so that could be why she's not ready for the union here with twin. She needs to sort of stabilize in her life. I feel like he also needs to work it out where he needs to be a little bit more fun and adventurous and outgoing and learn how to be that way instead of so, so structured and so, so um, serious. Kind of like let himself get out there a little bit. Learn about fun. Learn about um, sort of being frivolous. Don't be so serious. And, you know, don't beat yourself up about that. I'm getting a sense that that's why these two were split up they weren't really ready for this seriousness um of the divine connection okay because like i said he need to learn a little bit about fun and 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 being free and and free spirited and not so so uh, determined and so you know stern and boom on his like beliefs and everything and i feel like she needed some life experience here and also to know i feel like now she knows sort of that you know what this was probably my twin and I don't know how to get it back um, and she's definitely contemplating what to do here as well like should she communicate should she not so let's see yeah and it ends in a broken heart because to me this is third-party interference okay so one of you either divine male or divine female has third-party in, in interference and I do feel like it could be on our Virgo side as well okay um, they might have both had lovers on the side or lovers they were with and then they met as twins and the connection was insane and it woke them up and it pulled them into this big thing um but too much work maybe too much work to hide things maybe too much work to put this out in the open so i feel like there was lack of commitment for this and it was because of other influences outside influences okay if our libra was with someone else and he was with someone else or divine male i feel like that's what separated them here because this is 100 percent separation this is third party interference this is needing to sort of heal old wounds um sort of heal from the hurt that became of this and um you know sort of like now how to do these things how to fix these things how to heal these things individually if you've watched the entire reading you'll know and you know sort of how to come out of this and heal so i'm gonna pull an angel card and we're getting angel of adventure now i feel like this whole thing is like an adventure okay because it opens you up to knowing that starting on your spiritual journey is an adventure and also learning that sometimes we can't be so serious 
in our lives and we have to explore and we have to have fun and we have to meet people and have experiences and other relationships and sort of ready ourselves for the divine union of twin. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to check the description box for my links and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Love and light.